Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, Brandon here. I am currently at work, getting ready to set up for our first 5K of the the new run series. Well, it's not the new run series, but the, the 2020 run series. We've been doing it for about three years now, and it's been very successful. Very, very successful. It's really is amazing because at the time when we first created the event. I remember sitting in my old office trying to create new ideas and new wellness programs to kick out for the community. And then I remember we were writing on the board, just throwing ideas out there. What what can we do to, you know, offer more? And for a while we had a run series that used to exist and then that got scratched and we wanted to bring it back, but what but bringing something new back. And anyways, after a long session of just brainstorming we literally wrote on the marker board it was amazing i even took a picture of the marker board i wish i could find that picture maybe if i can find it i'll put it up but anyways we wrote on the marker board a run series that leads up to our biggest run which is the half marathon and we called it the march to Muchita, which was an amazing idea because the run begins in March so it was like March to Muchita so it was just a, it was just a really clever name so anyways that's what I'm getting ready for this cold as hell outside yeah cold as hell anyways it's raining it's cold and I have to I'm a one-man crew today and I gotta go and set up this course to make sure everybody's safe and I just thought I uh, feel a little um, vlog about it and yeah so you guys get to join me on my little journey this is how I would set up a 5k day before and the day of and the day after, so tag along guys. Yeah, so we have half the stuff packed up and I gotta go back to the gym and pack a few more things. Um, probably gonna go run the route. This is probably the the uh, most nerve wracking part is it's raining. And not that that's really a problem, but it's just the route has a lot of dirt. So now my biggest worry is one, me get stuck out there. And two, is the dirt gonna be super mushy? Like is it gonna be safe to be running on? And that will be the deciding factor whether or not we reschedule this whole thing. So stay tuned. All right, we're out here, and I got a bit way in, and I heard some mud kick up. So, kind of pause for a little bit on the harder surfaces. I'm gonna go outside and just kind of walk a little bit of it, just kind of see how the dirt feels. The worst thing to do is get stuck out here. You're on a Friday, on a payday Friday. Get stuck out here in the mud. Come on, man. So let's go see what it looks like. So the dirt, still fairly hard, not too squishy. Whoa, ah, yeah, that's what we need to worry about right there. We don't want people slipping on it. Ah, see? This is the spot where the mud kicked up. This is the spot we don't want to mess with. Oh yeah, look at that. Touch that mud, that mud will do it. So far so good. This part of the route seems pretty stable. What's 
going on, everybody? Sorry about that. Um, ran the route yesterday. Pretty muddy. Didn't get stuck, so that's a good sign. Um, it's about a little before 5 a.m. Got to get there nice and early before everybody. Set up the route. Make sure it's all nice and safe so nobody gets lost. So, let's see how it goes. Here we are. Um, just got in. Let's get the day started. All right, so the run just started. Um, did a little welcoming and ran that route so many times just to make sure everybody's safe. Um, it had a bit muddy, but it was it was a little concerning because there was no sunlight. So I was like wondering, like, did I not put enough lights out? You know, these are the things as an event um, coordinator that you you really don't can't really um, predict, and so it gets real uh, nerve wracking. Like you you make sure you follow every protocol, you make sure that you dot every T, every I, cross every T, and dot the um, lowercase J's. <laughs> Wayne's world. Uh, but yeah, so far it went it's going pretty good. Uh, I'm just kind of driving the route, making sure that um, nobody's taking any of the um, turns there are a bunch of turns out here um so i try to explain that if there isn't an arrow there that they keep going but i'm just out here just to make sure everybody's um, being safe um, we we want everybody to be safe and have a good time and you know it gets a little stressful if you don't if you're running and you don't know where you're supposed to go so i'm just sort of adding a little extra safety precautions so so far so good looks pretty nice look at this weather let's see if i can get some Alright, everything's looking good so far. Um, everybody seems to be on track. Um, following the arrows, the direction's pretty good. That was one of my biggest fears is somebody um, running off track and get lost. It's the worst feeling as an event coordinator. I want everybody to be safe, so. Everything's going great so far. So far, so far, very great, very grateful. And here they come, coming around the final stretch of the run. It's gonna be awesome. I just uh, saw a coyote, you know, that's what we call animal control. Thank God animal control is here. I thought that, that coyote, I mean, you never know, you never know. I just saw a coyote, I wish I, got, I don't know if I can catch him on camera, but he's out there, he's lurking. Um, so, I'm gonna start breaking it down. So, um, still have a couple runners out there, but I'm just gonna kinda shadow them and make sure that they uh, either cross the finish line or they finish uh, within the time limit. Or, you know, sometimes you gotta pick them up, but we'll see how it goes. Let's see if we can find that coyote. Guys, uh, 
Just now wrapping up, we got one runner. I don't know if you can see them. They're right there somewhere. But um, pretty much done. And so far, I like to think it's a success. So I'll ask around, see what people thought. Always looking for ways to improve, you know? But I'm very happy, I'm very, very happy. My team is amazing. I uh, gave them their assignments, and I, I did get, give them a little bit last minute, but that's how much trust I have in them, that they will get it done, and man, they they killed it, man. I didn't have to worry about anything. They're over there handling all the paperwork and all the signing sheets, so uh, I'm just really proud to be, able to be a part of a team like that, a team that can execute, that has the same vision. But anyway, just really grateful to have the team, you know. And we all have this mentality that we're not a team, we're a little bit deeper than that family. And um, yeah, so I think I think we're I think we're gonna wrap it up. So um, thank you guys for checking it out. Um, very nervous. Got the next 8K coming up, then a 10K, and then the half marathon, which I'm very stressed out about. Not stressed out, but I'm very nervous about because it's five runs in one day and I gotta coordinate all five of them. Made it, made it, made it. Pretty happy, look at that, look at that, look at that. Let's see if we get him in the shot. All over there. Yeah. Pretty awesome, guys. Yeah. Pretty awesome. Great weather. That coyote, he's out there. I've seen him run by. Probably the animal control. Oh, look at those birds. I don't know if you can see them. Big old flock of them.